welcome to my channel it's your girl miss tamika if you're new to my channel i would love for you to subscribe click on that subscribe button because your girl uploads uh, videos once a week i do all types of videos i do makeup tutorials unboxing hauls vlogs cooking i do it all but anywho your girl just got finished creating this look i use the new jacqueline hill palette and I use the, uh, which one I use? I use Bling Balls. And I use Bling Balls because, again, it's my favorite type of colors, which are the warm and neutral colors. And I only use three. I use, I think it was this one and that. No, it was Star and Mystic, these two. And then this one all over the lid. Give y'all my thoughts on this palette. And I also use some of her brushes I thought it was going to be a full uh tutorial just using her brushes but I don't know I'm just so used to using what I use so I did use some of her brushes and so far so good so, yeah and then I also used a new foundation which I am wearing now and it is the uh butter it is the peach perfect comfort matte and it's and I'm in the color butterscotch. Before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to share a few things that I used in this particular makeup video. Because sometimes when I'm doing these makeup tutorials, I have stuff everywhere. And sometimes I'll forget to mention what I use. So on my lips, I am wearing the color Choker by ColourPop. Lip liner by NYX right here. And then I topped it off with the Bare Minerals. Fab and Foxy because again I wanted to create like a new type of lip with a pop of shininess and this is why I can't wait to go get that Rihanna bling gloss or something like that because that would have looked really nice on my lips. I did use the uh, Age Rewind for the first time like I mentioned uh, my girl Brandy Giz mentioned these in her tutorial so i ran out and got to again the color tan and caramel uh, i use my pro concealer in orange for my under eye area which i use in almost all my tutorials a lot of things i have already used a lot in my previous tutorials i'll just switch it up sometimes with the eyeshadow palettes or like for instance my setting spray oh, and i did use the laneige or laneige uh lip sleeping mask Y'all, this thing here is good. I'm not sure if I uploaded my Sephora haul, but I did purchase it. Purchase this during the customer appreciation sale. I do like the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like again, I've been a Jaclyn Hill fan since day one. It's a lot of mixed reviews regarding this palette, but like I said, it's, it do, it serves this purpose. All I need is to apply some color to my lids and some color to my creases it do have a little bit of fallout but what eyeshadow don't it is creamy you know it applies really nice i'll show you a swatch here are some of the uh swatches I just really wanted to show you how they you know swatch on the arm on the hand but of course you know it's watched really different when you apply it on your face so yeah you guys again hopefully you can see the look because again I am filming with my new lens and I can't zoom in because I'm already zoomed in enough so again if you want to see how I created this beautiful look then stay tuned and keep on watching Hey everyone, as you can see, I got my music playing in the background. Your girl is about to create a Jaclyn Hill look. Before we get started, y'all, I mentioned this in my uh, Sephora haul. I'm not sure if the video is up yet, but yo, this lip mask is so good. Like my lips are screaming for some right now. So I'm going to apply this on my lips really quick. Just a little bit. So I can get through this uh, video without being all chat. You get what I'm saying? Wanted to, you know, say, hey, y'all, what's been going on? Uh, I hope you are enjoying my videos that I have been posting lately. I think the last video I posted was my Trader Joe's haul. So, yeah, you guys, I love Trader Joe's. Like, you can get some good buys at Trader Joe's. Really quick, 
I just got the uh, face set, the eye set. I didn't get the whole complete set or anything like that because it was a little pricey. Girl ain't rolling around in dough. So I just got the face because I have a lot of brushes. So I'm pretty sure I have some of those face brushes already in my collection. Okay, I'm not a makeup expert or anything like that. I did hear good things about her brushes. I'm not sure what each brush stands for i'm gonna just use them because i use brushes for whatever i feel like i want to use them for if you get what i'm saying so right now what i'm doing is pulling the plastic off of each of the brushes because like i said i did just get these not too long ago and i was waiting to film a tutorial using the new jacqueline hill palette by the way i love jacqueline hill y'all i've been a fan since almost day one back when she used to film in her kitchen her old kitchen, not her new kitchen, but yeah, way back when, when she used to do, I think when she worked at Mac or something like that, way back then. I've been following her for some time now. So here are her brushes right here. Again, they are by the Morphe brand and they are white and silver. Oh, and I'm not sure if I showed you the case. Case is really cute. So we won't be needing that. And by the way, I am filming with my new camera. So again, let me know how the quality is y'all. The Volt, the Jacqueline Hill Volt palette. So of course I'm gonna go with my, I think I'm gonna do the Bling Boss. I think that's it, let me see. Yeah, it's the Bling Boss right here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my crease. I don't know what, I'm, what look I'm going for. I'm gonna start off with uh, right here. This is the color I'm gonna start off with as a transition. And I'm using one of these brushes here. And it does have a mirror on the front. This might have been a little too big for the crease, but we will see. This mystic color right here. Okay, here in this tutorial, I think I'm only going to use the two colors. Because I don't want to, because I'm not an expert in creating looks. So I think I'm going to just go in with the two colors. So all over the lid, I'm going to use my Fix Plus. Here. Okay, so I'm going to go and wet my brush just a little bit so we can pack on that color up on that lid and i usually pull my eyelid just a little bit so it can get evenly over my eye and you don't have to you don't have to spray your brushes now i'm gonna go back in with uh one of the transition one of the other colors that I have in my crease just just to blend it all together so it can all blend. Ooh, y'all look at that. Hopefully you can see it. Now this brush is not Jacqueline Hale's brush, but I just like this to blend my shadow. This is a Morphe 4. 3 3 and I got this from uh, Ulta okay y'all I can be blending for days so my mascara eyeliner okay so I have that on so I'm gonna go and put my lashes on and I'll be right back I did my eye eyelashes i had a little struggle i struggled a little bit because the lashes that i was using was all beat down so i had to get a new pair resize them and all that jazz uh by the way i will be trying out the new uh what is it the Too faced uh peach perfect uh matte foundation i'm gonna read a little bit about the foundation like I said, if y'all didn't hear it before, I like to get samples 
uh, foundations instead of purchasing the full size. Because again, if I end up liking a sample, I don't have to worry about, you know, the hassle of returning. Because, like for instance, I'll go to JC Pink, like I'll go to Lenox Mall or Pont City Market to go to Sephora and say I get like a brand like Marc Jacobs or something like that. The Sephora inside of JC Penny doesn't carry it. So it's always a hassle. So I'm just like, look. That's why I said I'd rather get samples. I mean, of course I can't prevent, you know, some things like, you know, lip products or whatever. I don't do the testing out in the store. So I'll just buy the makeup, you know, the lip product. Cause of course you can't get a sample of lip gloss or lipstick so that I can't avoid the foundation like I said I like getting the uh, the sample that's what I'm going to talk about so what y'all have planned this week like what y'all have planned this weekend is the weekend of September the 8th I didn't have any plans uh it's just been too hot y'all like I cannot deal with the heat actually georgia heat like it's just be too hot so my daughter and i we didn't really go anywhere today so we are in the house and i was like okay why not film a get ready with me video even though i'm not going anywhere probably a wear the makeup just a little bit and then maybe take it off i may wear for a while just to see how the uh benefit foundation held up I can block, I can uh, dab on my face all day, y'all, as y'all can see, because it's like, okay, Tamika, it's in there. <laughs> the claims of the Too Faced Foundation. Hey, did y'all get anything from the Sephora Appreciation Sale? I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Fenty Beauty just came out with, like, a one-year appreciation thing. She came out with that gloss bomb and the diamond veil. Try and pop up. The Fenty Beauty stuff up here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Like y'all, I seen some videos and that thing is nice. Like I can't wait to get my hands on that. And everybody's been raving about the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. They get the uh, Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer in a sample. Because again, it's $52 and it's just for a primer. I, pro I think I am going to purchase it because I like the way it sits on my skin. y'all have any of the new Rihanna and the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, let me know down in the comment section, you know, if it's worth me running out going to get it. Because, you know, YouTube everybody's talking about it and it, it got me ready to run out and get it the sample that i got is the peach perfect comfort matte foundation and it's by the Too faced peaches and uh cream collection i'm in the color butterscotch and these are a part of their new shades because they did come out with a few more uh shades because again a lot of brands don't co uh, cater to our skin tone i'm not sure why not Okay, it says what it is. It's transfer resistant medium coverage foundation that creates a smooth canvas for flawless, comfortable matte wear that is never cakey or mask like. Okay, those are the number two things that I don't like in foundations. And the coverage again is medium. The finish is matte, which is good for me because if you don't know, I am combination, which is oily and dry skin. So if it claims to be a matte finish, that's a thumbs up for me. It says this is the modern way to wear matte foundation. It says photo friendly, smooth, flawless and comfortable with a soft focused velvety finish infused with peach and sweet sweet fig cream scent this oil controlling formula delivers up to 14 hours of course your girl is not going to wear it for 14 hours so yeah it has some good claims y'all so i want to go ahead and test this foundation out I'm going to use my beauty blender because again that's what I like using. I'll be using a brush, so I hope that's okay with you guys. But yeah, here is the foundation sample. I have my new blue uh, beauty blender because my other one was beat down a little bit, so I had to get a new one. Let's see. Ooh, it does smell like peaches, y'all. It smells good. I'm not used to having a foundation that has like a scent 
and I'm gonna start off on the one side because again I don't know if this stuff uh, dries really fast so I'm gonna start off with just this side here we're going to get to blending 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 sensitive to scent it may bother you a little bit doesn't bother me i love stuff with scents especially lip glosses like i prefer to have a scent like it won't stop me from purchasing but me i prefer to have a scent i don't know i just like having stuff that have like a fruity scent some people don't like it i don't know why here on this side i did apply the foundation and so here is the side that i didn't apply the foundation so we are going to continue with the other side I have my under eye area y'all i love bouncing this on my face I was going back editing one of my other videos. I was like, oh my God, you pounced that on your face for about almost 10 minutes. <laughs> so now it's on both sides. So what I'm going to do now is go in with an extra, with extra um, coverage under the eye area. Because like that, are, that is my trouble areas. And I have the color tan and caramel. I like a bright a bright under eye area so I'm just going to apply this a little bit not too much okay so now I'm about to use this instant age rewind in the color tan and I'm gonna use this to highlight and open it yet so that's what I'm doing here y'all it's September already like I cannot believe it why is it going so fast Christmas is around the corner are y'all decorating for Christmas? If y'all don't know, all my kids are like almost grown. I have a 12 year old. My last two boys are grown. Christmas is around the corner. I'm not sure if I'm going to decorate. And my son just graduated. He's 18. And then my other son is uh, 23. And he's Muslim, so he don't celebrate Christmas or any holidays. Not sure if I'm going to do the whole Christmas tree thing because my Christmas tree from last year was old. Like I had it for so many years and I didn't get a new one when everything was on sale because I don't know. I didn't see any. I don't know. Maybe I didn't go at the right time, but everything was like picked over. So I didn't get a chance to get another tree. So I know I say it now, but when I start seeing everybody decorate, it's going to be like, okay, now I'm going to want to decorate. As of now, I'm not sure. Because my daughter is older now, so I don't believe in Santa no more. So it's like when the kids don't believe anymore, to me, that was the fun part about Christmas. My Becca highlight. I'm going to go ahead and use one of her brushes. Because I've been, uh, I'm so used to my brushes. So when it's time to use new stuff, new things, y'all, it's like a little hard sometimes. That was the point of this video, was to use her brushes. My other brush. Ooh, that one surely did pop now. Okay, we didn't need all that. Do y'all see that highlight? I usually like to put it on my brow bone and then bring it under my eyebrow area. So now I'm going to go back in the palette and I'm going to use one of the Jaclyn Hill brushes because that was the purpose of this video to use her, to use her brushes. Two colors here because like I said, I didn't use a lot. I only used two shades because I just didn't want to make this video super long. Okay, the faces you got to make when you're doing your makeup. So like I said, I'm not going to use a lot. I just wanted to put a little bit of shadow in the bottom part yeah. blush. I'm gonna use the NARS Orgasm. Get the apples of your cheeks. And I don't really contour or bronze like that because I really don't have no contour stuff. So that's what I'm looking to purchase too. And get my fan brush to do my highlight. 
See, that's why I needed that new Rihanna. Oh, yeah, look at that highlight. After I do my highlight, I like to go back in with my uh, foundation. I mean, my blush, just in case. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my bottom lashes. I'm doing bottom lashes, I can't talk. Just using this sample Gucci. Okay, so I'm finished my bottom lashes. I have to let that dry because I don't know why, but when I go and spray my uh, face spray, it'll leave a mark on my face. So I don't want to mess up that. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a lip liner. sure what lip I'm going for. Color. Let's do like a nude, pinky nude. What I always do. I haven't used my ColourPop in a while. Let me see. Let's try that. Because I just want like a nude. Like I said, I just wanted a nude lip. A nice shiny gloss on top. Okay, this is what I was looking for. The Bare Mineral uh, in the color Fab and Foxy. Yeah. That's what I'm coughing out. So, so I can spray my lovely Morphe Mist. And like I was saying, it sprays, it come out like a um, hairspray. And I'm going to use this fan to dry it off. Diva, honey. That did help uh, with the makeup process. I'm going to finish with this completed look and I will be back you guys. Hey y'all, welcome back. I just wanted to do a really quick check-in. Apply this makeup around like one something and as of now it is 6.56, so let's just say 7 o'clock. I have had this foundation on for about six and a half hours. It claims to be a matte foundation. I did go outside in my backyard area. I sat outside for about a half an hour to an hour with my daughter and her friends just so I can see how this makeup wears, you know, outside in the heat because here today, September the 8th, is really hot outside. I did sit outside because it's cold in my house, so I sat outside and I had a smoothie. Really quick before I end this video because I just wanted to show y'all how it looks on the face. I do have combination skin so that's why I was really excited to try this foundation out. And I forgot to mention I did get Color Match. The lady at the store Color Match me with butterscotch, uh, butterscotch. I'm not good with matching myself so yeah like I said I did get help with matching myself just in case anyone wanted to know how did I choose the color butterscotch. This foundation does claim to be um, transfer resistant. So we're going to put that to the yes. test. I have my white tissue. I'm going to take my mirror and I'm just going to blot. As you can see, it shows up just a little bit. So I will say that is really, really good because again, you can wear some foundations and you can just rub your face and you have a whole bunch of foundation on your hands, arm, clothes or whatever. So that's pretty good. A little bit of foundation, you know, to come off on a tissue. I will say so far so good. I do see that highlight popping here on the side. And y'all let me know what y'all think. I did remove everything. So that's why I put this scarf on because y'all didn't want to see me without it on. And also, don't mind the wing liner look because I was, uh, when I'm about to take off my makeup, sometimes I'll, you know, play in it and try um, different things. Because like I said, I'm not good at doing wing liners. So that's when I start practicing when I'm about to take my makeup off. So that's why you see the wing liner. I mean, it's one side is better than the other. I think it was this side that was better than this side. Like I said, with a lot, with more practice, I'll get better, but I don't know, I don't really think I need a wing liner. 
think I'm fine with just the way I apply my makeup, but I just wanted to try it because like I said, I'm self-taught, so you know. So yeah, y'all, you know I can get the rambling, so let me go ahead and end this video because I'm going to add this with my get ready with me video all over the place in that video video y'all so hopefully y'all enjoy that video and i didn't mention this but i used this in my tutorial i didn't buy that i didn't buy this for the tutorial it's because it's hot here in georgia and when you outside you don't want to be hot so i got that for that and i used it to dry off my setting spray i think i brought this for my setting spray now <laughs> I'm not that much of a diva. I just wanted to use it because I saw Jaclyn Hill use it in her tutorial and I see why she used a fan because it really helps dry down your uh, setting spray, especially that Morphe uh, setting spray. So, hey y'all, that's it. So your girl is about to go hop in the shower, take all of this off. I'm about to pull these lashes off. Matter of fact, I'm about to start pulling them off now because y'all my friends, so I can do that. So yeah, they are off. So y'all, I will see y'all in the next video.